Hey there folks, what's this video and this one is a review, an instant review, for the 70th Anniversary Grand Prix, F1's fifth round of the championship which has just wrapped up at Silverstone. And I will be talking spoilers, and also before you get into this I've also linked down below my video talking about the protest ahead of the race. It's something that is very important to think about and to talk about and something that I think we need to talk about um, and it warrants its own separate discussion. But yeah, as for the race itself, very interesting strategies, and that's all throughout the pack. Verstappen took the win with that um, hard to soft, no, hard to medium to hard. Sorry, I was thinking about the fact that they were the softs last week for some reason. And it was a very brief middle stint. Well done for Red Bull with that strategy there, having him qualify on the hardest tyre in Q2. Um, Hamilton and Bottas second and third. With so much tire grading, we've seen this with the Mercedes, and we saw this for Racing Point as well. They can struggle in the heat. Mercedes are a lot worse affected. I guess it might be something to do with the philosophy that went into the W11. Racing Point, you know, that we call the Tracing Point because of how much it takes for the W10, hasn't had that much of an issue. And to be fair, in high temperatures, the W10 didn't have so many issues last year. It was more altitude. But we saw it uh, ahead of the Styrian Grand Prix and we've seen it again today. Mercedes seem to have some kind of problem in the higher temperature races. Leclerc, however, in fourth with a one stop. How he managed that, I have no clue. Because we saw, we saw Mercedes try and do that with Lewis, but that was just not happening. But Ferrari, they somehow managed it. Vettel with a spin right at the start came back to finish 12th and you gotta feel sorry for him because he really should have been finishing a lot higher up but him blaming Ferrari's strategy when he came out behind Carlos Sainz that was an interesting thing to see and especially around Sainz as well we saw Daniel Ricciardo also spinning I mean you can make a joke and say this was very much akin to what happened in Bahrain and with Vettel behind him he had a very kind of driver's eye view of what people might have been thinking last season. Yeah, going further down the pack, well, we could talk about penalties. Um, Kevin Magnussen ended up with a penalty uh, for how he rejoined the track alongside Nicholas Atifi. Um, there's also debate over whether or not Lewis Hamilton might get a penalty for the pit speed limit. I reckon if he did. It would likely be something like 5 seconds, so I might not demote him down the order. I'd be surprised if it was any more than that, but I don't think it would be something that would necessarily affect his position. But I could also see it potentially being one of those uh, dreaded grid penalties for the next race. Also, you got to feel a bit sorry for Hulkenberg. Having to do the 3 stop. But in the end very similar to Lance Stroll and you've got to give props to Stroll I mean I'll also link below um, in another point uh, Josh Revel's video about is Stroll finally coming of age and I have to say that is kind of the case I mean Stroll's proven now that in competitive machinery he can deliver and that's especially the case over the course of long distances I still maintain that what would be best for him is with um, with Lawrence Stroll taking over the Aston Martin brand, him going into endurance with Aston Martin, because then of course I would open up a say Checo and Seb lineup at the Racing Point F1 team when it becomes Aston Martin next year. But you can't just slate the guy anymore. He is actually a decent driver, and at the same time you have to give praise to Alex Albon. A good climb up the order to finish fifth. And again, a brilliant strategy by Red Bull to put him into the pits early on. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye for now.